Well, good afternoon, my friends. Thank you for joining. While we get everything ready, one of the biggest questions that I've seen this past week in several groups is how uh, to do Ecamm or Zoom. And a lot of people are asking, so which ones should I use? Uh, I already have a Zoom. Do I need an Ecamm? Um, and a lot of people have no clue what it is. So I started thinking, hey, will there be a way that we can do a comparison? Because there's a lot of people that may need one versus the other one. And both tools are great, but they're not the same. And some people are putting them in the same category, and they're actually not. So here's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go and I'm going to show you both tools and why should you use one versus the other one? So the first thing is that Ecamm Live is a broadcast tool. What do I mean with that? Let me show you. Um, as you can see here, I have my Mac right in front of me. I have another computer behind me that is the one that I'm using to broadcast. So Ecamm, as you can see, is a broadcast tool, meaning I have something on my computer and I want to stream it. That could be an example. I can stream it to Facebook. I can send it to Periscope. I can send it to YouTube. But it is a broadcast tool, meaning I have a camera. I can switch to share my screen. And what I want to do is that I am sharing with the rest of the world. I am connecting with the rest of the world to do, let's say, a screen share or a Facebook Live like this. On the other hand, Zoom, let me bring it up here. Zoom is a meeting tool that I'm going to connect with people to do a web meeting. OK, so then why are people asking? Should I use Zoom or should I use Ecamm? One of the options on Zoom is that they enable that you can do streaming of the webinars, or if you have a paid account, that you can do a streaming of your meeting on a Facebook Live. And that's where the confusion comes, because they're not the same. So let me repeat. So if you're doing a webinar and you want to post it as a Facebook Live, you can use Zoom or Ecamm Live. And let me just show you again real quick in here. So I could just select in here, and I can decide that I want to go into a Facebook Live. And I could just click Live and go from right there. Or I can go to any other location from the Ecamm solution. While on Zoom, in order for me to do that, I when I click to do a new meeting, let me go real quick in here. I have the option on Zoom to go live on Facebook, but I need a license for this, or I need to configure it. So in the past, you needed the webinar license. Now with the regular paid uh, meeting license, you can go live. But then I can only share my camera or my screen. Zoom is not a broadcast software, meaning I cannot put the little bars on the bottom. I cannot add overlays. That, that means over the camera that I can put some information on it. I cannot do any of that with Zoom. Well, with Ecamm, I can. So like right here, let's say that I want to add here. Or I may want to add some information like this. I can add and customize the way my 
image will look like. So if you have seen some people, they may put their logo, uh, other people may put something else. Both tools give you the capabilities so you can go live. Both give you the capabilities that if you're gonna do green screening, so I don't have the green screen right now, but with both tools, you can do green screen. So if you have seen some of my videos, sometimes you'll see that on the environment. You can do green screen with both of them. One of the biggest differences is the quality. So if you have a Mac, you can use Ecamm and you can record all the way up to 4K. With Zoom, you cannot. With Zoom, your maximum resolution is 720. If you pay for the cloud storage, then if you pick to record on the cloud, you can get full HD that is just 1080. You cannot go 4K. So if you're looking for a deeper, better quality video, you can do Ecamm. But what is the challenge? Ecamm only works on a P on sorry on a Mac. It doesn't work on PC. So what are the options? Well, if you're gonna record your videos, you can do it with Zoom. If you have a PC, there's an alternative called Minicam that I've done a couple of videos with it. It's extremely good. It's almost the same, but it works on every platform. Your other option is that you can use something on the cloud, like what I'm doing right now. I'm doing it through uh, StreamYard, uh, or you can do Be Live TV. It doesn't matter where it is, but you need to know what you want to do. So the tool is just something that you use to communicate the message, but you need to know what is the message or what is what you want to do. If you're trying to do web meetings, so webinars and connect with people, and you want that interaction so you can do a private session, your tool will be Zoom. If you're looking to do just specifically broadcast that you're connecting with people, sending the message out, that will be an Ecamm discussion. So my friends, I hope this has been helpful. I saw that question in several groups. I don't know why. Um, they're probably Black Friday special, and people were asking which tool to use or which one not. So, my friends, if you have any questions, please let me know. See you soon.